so I want to talk to you guys about something that is really kind of hard to talk about um, because it really raises uh, a lot of emotions within people and it is forgiveness. Now, when you talk about forgiveness and you start telling people um, that they must forgive and they must forgive people who have hurt them or done things to them or have harmed them, people get a little agitated because you think that, we think that, when we are offering forgiveness to someone, we are making it okay what they've done to us. And here's the thing that you have to understand about the spiritual law of forgiveness. It is not something that you do for the other person. You're not releasing them. You're not, um, uh, um, um, you're not releasing them from any kind of um, anything that you may think that they're going to get because they did you bad. Or you are not releasing that person from the, the thing that they've done. What you're doing is you're releasing yourself. You are giving power back to yourself by no longer holding on to the anger and the resentment and the hatred that you have for that person because they did something to you. Who has not been hurt? Everyone has been hurt by a relationship or another person or sometimes we're hurt by people and they have no clue what they've done and then they do know what they've done and they don't care. The point of the matter is this. You have to forgive not only that person, but you have to forgive yourself for allowing whatever happened because no one can do anything to you that you do not allow. So when you decide that you are going to free yourself so that you can create marvelous things and so that you can live in marvelous abundance and good health and you can be happy, you are giving yourself the best gift that you could ever give yourself. And that is the gift of letting go and releasing all that anger and animosity. And did you know that harboring those feelings of resentment can take a toll on your physical health? Do you know that it can cause back problems and stress and high blood pressure and headaches? Because here's the thing, nine chances out of 10, the person who did it does not even remember what they've done. But you are harboring it. And so therefore, you're not fully functioning in your highest and best consciousness. You are constantly allowing the maze of the mind to recreate these things that have happened to you in the past that you cannot change. So what I want you to do today is take time and create a forgiveness list. If you're not familiar with what a forgiveness list is, let me tell you. A forgiveness list is a list of people, places, things, situations that you need to forgive and that you need to get rid of. And as you do that, you just write simply, I forgive you for... I forgive this, I forgive that. If that's too much for you, if it's too painful for you to relive all that, then just write every day, I forgive and I am forgiven. Make it your mantra until you begin to feel lighter in your spirit, until you begin to feel lighter in your heart. Because what will happen is your spirit will begin to bloom and wonderful things will begin to happen in your life. You'll feel lighter, you'll find that you're smiling more, and eventually you won't even remember what you were angry about. Forgiveness is a gift and it's a gift that you give yourself. All right. Have a great and fabulous day. Bye for now.